Now, if you're an epic, ah, oh, there goes my three seconds in, and my chair is already doing this. This is my new chair I got about a month ago, um, and it doesn't, it doesn't work. It, it keeps sinking. Maybe, maybe I'm just too heavy. I, I why don't you work? For those of you who aren't from the UK, game is a branch of gaming shops. Kind of self-explanatory. And if you follow game on Twitter, you may occasionally see them retweet different local stores around the country, whether it be a promotion or a funny little tweet or a little, little, little tidbit. And I'm proud to say that my local store didn't just survive one shutdown for a hotel chocolate to take its place. Well, not even Maplin shutting down could stop the great power that is my local game shop. No, they weren't going down without a fight. Why do I have this on hand? They came back with a marketing campaign so good, let me tell you, you're not gonna believe it. The manager of that game store, my local game store, was so dedicated to the cause that he, he got his real life-size loot llama and printed out missing posters of it and put it around the town. I mean, apparently the loot llama was missing because he'd gone in search of the new shop. Uh, so a few people took pictures of some some clues, uh, and they retweeted a few, and uh, that, was, that was it really. New shop opened. I'm kidding. It, it was kind of it was kind of cool. Um, well, it was there was de there was dedication. We also got this cool video out of it. Bernie, I'm home. What's this? Got to look for the new shop, Bernie. Just gets worse, doesn't it? Oh, but as intriguing and equally nail-biting the search for Bernie the Loot Llama was, there's actually a manager at the store in the town over from me who is probably the most dedicated employee of any company I have ever seen in my entire life. Welcome to Game Telford! Now, if you're from Telford, you've heard of Telford, or you've visited Telford, you'll probably know it's not the most glamorous place in the world. Ah, oh, but come on, come on, we're all friends here, come on. Can, can we put aside our differences? from Telford and the rest of the world because right here we got a local hero we've got the most dedicated employee of any company I've ever seen like forget employee of the month forget employee of the year this is this is employee of the of the goddamn of the goddamn world because Steve from game Telford is a national treasure he is a national hero he deserves a knighthood you know what I think I've got I've got the knighting sword here look at that bada bing bada boom Sir Steve Telford. <laughs> and even though I hardly go to the store because I don't have much reason to visit there, Steve is the sole reason I found out about my favorite thing of 2019. It's it's a, it's a Spyro statue. I'm 20 years old. Just look how cool this is. Like you, you can put you can put your PS4 controller on there. You, you can you can try and jam your your Xbox controller in there? Uh, what else could he hold? Uh, I mean, possibly if you have any sexual items on your nightstand, Sparrow could hold them. Oh, oh, what's this? What's... Oh, he, he could hold that too. He, he could hold that too. <laughs> but I thought today we could just look through the game tell for Twitter and look at some of the pure genius that Steve is, is only sharing to 7,000 followers. Think, think of the millions, no, billions more people who should be appreciating Steve from Game Telford. Now, first of all, uh, they're pretty much following back the amount of people who follow them, and I'm really sad that I'm not one of them. Come on, come on, come on, Steve. I don't, I don't want to be this guy, but come on, Steve. Straight off the bat, their pinned tweet is a thread of a Christmas console buying guide. Not only are they thoughtful to their customers who don't know what they're doing, he's also photoshopped himself as a little kid next to himself as Santa. I don't even know how they did that. Did they have the camera up here? Is it is it a perspective kind of? I don't even know. He's a genius. Okay, cool. See, I noticed this morning they had a new game sale on where, where basically Steve is picking up any game which he can make a pun out of. And he's just making a Twitter video. We 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 gotta we gotta watch some of these. Titanic, Secrets of the Fightful Journey, fifty percent off. Price has gone down. <laughs> you could just hear customers in the background, and he's just in the Lego section making a joke about the fucking Titanic. He just goes through the shop and just takes pictures of stuff like this. <laughs> We told Steve we had the perfect game for him. Look how excited he is. This guy is so pure. I'm so excited that he is so happy. Let's see what game they thought was the perfect game for him. 
Right, I want a fucking word with somebody. Please come and buy this game so we can stop Steve making jokes like this. Come on then. One of you must come in and buy the Black Eyed Bees experience. Come on. Where is the love? <laughs> I just realised he's actually got a green screen in store for, for all the memes they make. What? Steve's got some highlights of the 50% off last gen sale. Let's see what he's got. Gamers, quick heads up on our 50% off last gen sale. Some nice collector's editions in there, but you got things like Breath of the Wild on the Wii U. £15, one of the greatest games of all time. Resident Evil 4 on the Wii, £1.50. What? Get the brain cells working on some Professor Layton, £2.50. How about this? Gears of War 3 with the cog, pound. Halo 4, special edition, a pound. A pound? Gears of War, the original, in the collector's tin. 50 pence. <laughs> this guy in the background is like, am I part of the famous Steve's Special promotional edition. material? That's 24 pence. Get those collections sorted now. See you later. <laughs> the whole video, he was quite professional about it. And at the end, he had to go. See you later. This guy is a goddamn national treasure. He, he, it, it, they don't stop tweeting and retweeting stuff. This guy's probably in bed and, he, and he's retweeting stuff. Me trying to play some PSVR with the kids running about. It's a bird box meme. Not even I've seen bird box yet. Steve is more up to date on pop culture than I am. Oh my god. This looks like a best tweets of 2018 thread. We may have hit the gold mine of, of Game Telford. <laughs> There's one for every month. Oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so content with life right now. Now listen, this is essentially the Steve from Telford yearly calendar. Let, let's have a look. <laughs> Buy Street Fighter 5 Arcade Edition today on PS4. Sure you can! Oh, I'm sinking again. Please say the shop was closed. Please. I... Now, I don't know what's more concerning. The fact that he may have bought the costume for the video, or the fact he already had one to use. Loving the dedication, Steve. For that one, I'm gonna give you a 7 Steve's out of 10. He's the national treasure. He really is. Now, as much as I love this one, I'm gonna have to deduct some points for the fact to use copyrighted music. Obviously, at some point, someone was gonna have to make a video on this gold mine of Steve from Game Telford content. But I love the fact that you were selling it for charity. But it's still getting eight Steves out of ten. Come on, it's a classic. That was so good. Wow, there's so many of them. There's, there's, there's <laughs> Steve is a better video editor than I am. Now at first I was worried because I thought it'd be no Steve, but then suddenly Steve didn't just come in once, didn't just come in twice, didn't just come in three times. I think he almost came in about eight times. I gotta give points for the fares. I, I gotta give points for the fact they got the whole store involved, the, the, the pirate props. This is some top tier marketing for, for a game which is really disappointingly empty. Sorry. That was the best so far. It's got to be a 9 out of 10 Steve. Hello gamers. Let's give time gone. Did you go on the PSVR? Whoa. That's amazing. What? Huh? Oh my- oh my- Wow. There's part of me which really wants them to record all of these skits when a store is open. So there's just customers just waiting at the till while they're watching Steve run away from this joke. <laughs> now the way Steve addressed us as gamers in that video really made me feel like I was part of a, a big audience. Like, like a, a family, more like. So Steve, if you haven't got a YouTube channel already, you need to start one promptly. The dinosaur was a great surprise. I, I love the idea of the skit, but uh, the execution with the music could have been a little bit better. It's, it's getting seven Steves out of 10. Uh, still a good score, nonetheless. What? Huh? It's gonna be me. No Steve, no good. Uh, this one looks like a text meme. Let's have a look. Best eight big computers 
You can't rank them because they're all unique and individually great in their own way. Spectrum 48k. Has it really been seven months since that meme was a thing? <laughs> Now the likelihood, based on the theme of that meme, is that Steve did write that tweet. However, as I said before, no Steve, no, no good. good. <laughs> it's I'm so angry at this tweet. God damn it, Steve! God damn it, Steve! You didn't fucking come home, did it? And my seat is sinking again. You know what, Steve wasn't in it, but it surprised me. I love Zelda. The, the audio editing was fantastic. It's, it's gotta be eight Steves out of ten. Oh, it's one about Spider-Man. This is gonna be good. I've been playing a lot of Spider-Man over the last week. I don't really know why. I chose to come back to it after, like, five months. But I'm back, and I'm, it's really exciting. Let's see what, let's see what Steve's got for us this time. Spider-Man! Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size. Catches seeds just like flies. Look out. Here comes a Spider-Man. Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes a Spider-Man. In the chill of night, at the scene of a crime. Like a streak of light, you'll find a Spider-Man. I didn't ever want to see Steve... In Lycra. Oh my god, I've, I've just found more gold in the comments. Oh, I've, I've just found more gold. Also, Where did he get these costumes from? You know, I can't believe he'd actually go out in public in a Spider Man costume just to film a video. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, my Spider Man's in the away! I'm sorry, Steve. There was dedication, but it's only a 5 Steve's out of 10. Do you remember? far enough. Go on. Get away with you, boy. Go on. Leave. Don't want you anymore. We don't love you. Go. Go. Steve, the fact that you took out a copy of Fever 18 into the woods with a dog lead without a dog on it, it it's got to be an 8 Steve's out of 10. It's in the last bit of the summer. Oh, lovely ladybird. <laughs> How did the Yogg's cast has replied to it? Why? Is there a reference I'm missing here? Like, I get the Halloween music, but is there a new game out where the ladybirds take over during the summer? I don't know, but it gets an eight Steves out of 10 for me. Oh god, no. The Fallout 76 midnight launch. These people don't know what they're getting themselves into! It's a buggy mess. I went to HMV the other day, and it was £21. It came out two months ago! <laughs> the guy in the end like, I don't even want to be here. I'm, I'm with my, I'm with my girlfriend. I'm actually working with Steve and being like, oh, what the fuck is he doing now? He's doing a conga line around the store at midnight. What the fuck is going on? I, again, that's another fine eight Steves out of ten for the crowd participation. And finally, this is the the pure gem. I'm just glad it's the, the poster without the, the dick photoshopped into it, honestly. And they got the green screen in the shop to make memes on. He's got some gum on his shoe. Do you think he came in to work wearing red shoes and he was like, Oh, I'll just put the, the, the costume on I got in the back with my Wonder Woman costume, my Spider-Man costume, my, my, my dinosaur costume, all our Sea of Thieves costumes, my Street Fighter costume. My no, I was impressed by that one. It came out at the perfect time with all the memes coming out. It, that, that's that's got to be a, a 9 out of 10 Steve's along with the Sea of Thieves one. I just want to say thank you so much, Steve. 
for providing such great entertainment and being the world's most dedicated employee to a company ever. I, I, I've never seen so much dedication and love for the job. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. I've thoroughly enjoyed every second of it. This video was so kind of on the spot. I was just looking on Twitter at, at Steve taking pictures of games like... And I know I haven't got the biggest platform ever, but if I can use that platform to just to just share the love of Steve, then that's at least one thing I've done right today. Please, go and follow this account. Go and show Steve some love. Everything he tweets is just pure gold. Although I am kind of concerned the amount of costumes you have, Steve. Not gonna lie. I'm sinking again. Cool.